Hey, what's up, my little top tells? Good morning. How are y'all doing today? Well, if you're Kim Kardashian, you are sitting in a pile of rage, jealousy, contempt, or maybe you just hate it. Now, listen, we all know that yesterday, Chaney West, that's what I'm going to call her. Now, listen, we all remember when Chaney West got that tattoo of Ye on her arm. Now, I will say this. A lot of people have pointed out a couple of things. One, it looks a little bit too thick to be a tattoo. It might be henna. She just might be making fun of Kim, you know, being a little snarky. We haven't met Chaney, her personality wise. So we don't know, like, you know, she likes to take a little zing or whatnot. But also people said it might be those new ephemeral tattoos that disappear in a year, right? Keep an eye on all your faves that get tattoos of people because they could be around even just as long as the relationship is, right? Well, it seems like Kim has hit back. You know what she says with Kanye? Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you know you can. not Yes, I can. What am I talking about? She won up. Pete got a tattoo, Chaney maybe had been throwing shade with maybe a disappearing tattoo or some henna, and guess what? Now she's saying, oh, well, guess what? You happy, you in love? Well, guess what, baby? Me and Peter are about to have a baby. Now, if I was Kanye, I would just be looking like, go ahead, do it. Pull the trigger, go ahead and do it. Y'all, Kim is now starting rumors. And again, I don't care what y'all say, of course this is coming from the Kardashian camp that her and Pete are already, even though they've only been dating for seven months and Pete always looks like he washes his clothes, his whites with his blacks and don't know what Clorox bleach is. Now, after seven months and him branding her name on his chest and tattooing the kids' names, they're willing to move in. And guess what? They want to have a baby. You guys, let me just say this before we get into this. Kim is new to the game of being the breadwinner. Now, I say this of, of all sincerity. Kim always dated men that have more fame or money than her. Now she's worth allegedly a billion. Even if she's over exaggerating that, she's worth a lot of hundred millions, right? So this is her first foray into actually being the one with the money. And I don't think she's down on the gold digger game. I really honestly don't. I don't think she knows how these men that literally want to lay up on your couch and meet Taco Bell with their friends and all this stuff, how they act. Of course they'll go with you to CVS. Of course they'll do this. Of course they're like, my queen, what, what, will I, what may I get you? Because you are their hustle. Same way you hustled all these guys and look like you were the perfect woman because Chris taught y'all well and how to play perfect woman is the same way this man's doing it to you. That's my opinion. Am I in their bedroom? No, but that is my opinion on what's going on. Now let's listen to this new report. And honestly, go watch my last video. Pete's star has been rising, rising, rising since he's been with Kim. Kim is arguably one of the most famous people in the world. Skeet has been trying to break free from his low paying wages at Saturday Night Live. I know it got clout, but everyone knows that Saturday Night Live doesn't pay anything at all. Like it's, it's ridiculously low, how ridiculously low, how much they get paid. The fact that now you got your, uh, what is it, your your pilot that you've been trying to get off the ground for like two years, it finally got greenlit. You walk into H&M and as Pete, they slapped his name on a bunch of mismatched clothes, talking about, you know, wear that feeling with side note, you need to teach Kim how to wear that feeling because the only feeling she has is anxiety and panic attacks. But that's Kanye's, that's Kanye's fault too, because he dressed her so well. Kim has anxiety attacks on what the next steps are. But anyway, let's get in to this got to pucker up, right? Really quick, you guys, listen, I have a special live I'm doing today. Shout out to all my haters. You know what? I did my research. I got actual court documents to expose how there literally is a media misinformation campaign against Angela White, Black China. Y'all, these are actual court filings. It goes against everything TMZ saying. It goes against what Radar saying. And I hope whoever was in my comments tell me, oh, you're just saying this stuff about facts. You feel stupid after this live. Because guess what? Your girl got the actual facts. We got actual court documents, current court documents about the things that they're saying was just filed. And I'm going to expose every single lie one after the other. And also, Judge Alacron, Judge a liar and a cry, cry, a liar and a con, while he was literally de- uh, rejecting 
Black China's uh, request that he recuse himself, he literally broke more law. Y'all, you can't make this up, baby. Listen, I'm just bringing y'all information, but for all my haters that said I was lying, Ty, I heard you was talking ish. B, here I go. I'll see you today on the live. I'm probably gonna do it maybe around three o'clock p.m. I'll announce the time, turn on your notifications. If you missed the live, watch playback, but I'll put the notifications up. All right, now let's get back into this mess about how Kim is press, 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 press. Kim needs more press. Anyway, here we go. The mop. Kim Kardashian is reportedly looking into fertility options having have, after having a change of heart over a fifth child. Now, mind you, she had that change of heart once Cheney and Kanye started getting closer and closer, but let's keep going, right? The reality star and billionaire businesswoman wants to have a baby with her new boyfriend, Pete Davidson. Hmm. The mom of four has been with 28-year-old comedian Pete for seven months. Kim wants to have a fifth child with someone that she's known for seven months that's 28 years old. Yo, I know Kanye is somewhere in the corner. Girl, I get it. You're trying to make me jealous. You're trying to make me nervous. That ship has sell. You can have every man's baby as long as you let me see mine when I want to. I don't think Kanye's going to have a problem. But the fact that this is who you try to make me jealous with, continue. I would just be cracking up, right? Kim, who's 41, is smitten with her new man, and her sources claim she's ready to move in with them and start a family together. Kim previously decided against having a fifth baby, but insiders now claim she's had a change of heart and wants to add to her brood. Now listen, one, I do think she's doing this to get off of Con under Kanye's skin. You know, Kip Pete moving in, walking around his tidy whitey, smelling like weed smoke, right? North is just sitting here looking at her mom like, can daddy pick us up today? We want to go. But also, I got to be honest with you too. Kim, I think is desperately trying to change the conversation from that bomb Ray J dropped. And for those of y'all that don't think the Kardashian camp doesn't have crazy, crazy connections to most media, ask yourself how we have seen a misinformation campaign over Black China. Ask yourself how Ray J basically said y'all been lying to America and the public and you've been faking like you're a victim of something and a survivor of revenge. And I just exposed you for lying about the whole thing. And literally it has not been picked up by any mainstream media. All we're talking about is how Kim wants to have a baby with Skeet, please. Anyway, let's move on. A source told the magazine she's now looking into fertility options with Pete. What are the fertility options? Kim, you only 41. You clearly, don't tell me Kim now is barring Chloe's storyline. Kim, you are 41 years old, still healthy enough. I'm sure you got those embryos. We already know that it's going to be surrogate. One, you can't carry children because of medical issues. And two, you don't want to mess up that body. You know how it is when you get plastic surgery. You can't really move and you got to stay the same size because any weight gain or anything shifting will make it look like your left hip's here and your right hip's here. You know what I'm saying? Literally, this is how your butt cheeks be working or even your lip injections if you don't stay the same size and stay same weight. Pete's 28. I assume he doesn't have any problems. So what fertility options? Come on. It's, you know how to get this thing popping. You did it with the last three kids. Kim, shut up. Anyway, right? They claim Kim is ready to take the next step in their relationship and move in together after spending time with Pete's family in recent weeks. What does Pete Kim spending time with Pete's family have to do with Pete moving in unless his mama and her grandma's coming too. I'm confused. Somebody help me out. Anyway, Kim's asked Pete to move in with her when they get back to LA, which he naturally jumped at. I know he did. You better go dig that pot of gold. I'm telling y'all, Kim is getting finessed but she doesn't realize it because she's never been in that situation to be the finesse. She's usually the finesse. Or girl, it's a new game out there. You better start talking to people. It said, Kim's head over heels of love in the last few months have made her realize what it takes to be truly happy. She doesn't ever want to let this go. While Pete still has to fly back and forth to New York for work, she can't wait to live together full time and start planning their future together, which they hope will include many me's in the not too distant future. Y'all, I want to see a mini me between Kim's old face 
Pete's current one and everything. And you know what though? Pete, Kim thinks she's slick. I realize she's trying to keep Pete closer and closer and closer because Pete's about to start filming his new show, which is kind of kind of be like a millennial curb your enthusiasm. I do not find Pete Davidson funny or talented or attractive, but that's just me. That's just me. I don't got to look at his face every day. I don't got to listen to his jump jokes. Clearly Kim is into it. And a lot of y'all might be into it too. But what I'm saying is that's also why you're keeping him so close because you're hoping that I guess you will be the girlfriend on his show. But we all seen Kim act, please. You better get a lookalike. Now get this. Kim also confessed she's open to marrying again. I'm sure she is. She made the comments on her show amidst her divorce from Kanye. Kim was sitting with her mom and friend Simon Huck. It don't matter, right? She literally said four times a charge and then started cackling. Kim, shut up. Anyway, rumors of Kim's rebound were mounted. Pete Davidson sent shockwaves through fans. <laughs> you know what? This is so stupid. This is the dumbest deflection. Again, you know what it is, I feel like, with Kim. I feel like the Kardashians are going to go through what, I'm going to give you a little insight on YouTube. I feel like the Kardashians are going through what a lot of people on YouTube go through. You know, at first you do a lot of clickbait, you throw, I mean, I don't, and the people I know don't, but I've seen it happen. People throw a lot of clickbait out. People do this, people do that. And yeah, get it. I get it. You need to be salacious. You need to bring the headlines in, but eventually when you keep call, uh, uh, call, uh, calling, calling, call crying wolf, and you keep putting this shit out, but there's no substance behind it. That's when it becomes an issue and people just start rolling their eyes and don't believe any reports that come out because it's all BS. I feel like Kim is kind of falling under that and suffering under that, but I don't know y'all. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to y'all later. Mm. Oh, also you guys, I do have a huge live about the Black China court documents. I'm going live tonight at 6 p.m. No, actually, I'll go earlier. I'll announce the time. I'll announce the time. But yeah, we going live, baby. We going live. All right. Bye.